In this video, we'll discuss sharing a model-driven app as lesson 4 in module 4 working with model-driven apps. Let's begin our lesson by listing the lesson outline. In this lesson, we will discuss what is the requirement to share model-driven apps and we will have a demo to share model-driven app. Sharing model-driven app differs from sharing Canvas app. Power apps use rule-based security for sharing. The security rule defines a set of actions that can be performed within the app. These actions such as read, create, delete, share, and so on. Setting the actions or permissions of the security rules depend on your requirement. You must assign one or more predefined or custom rules to the app users or teams, and that will grant them a set of privilege associated with that rule. So to share a model-driven app, you have to perform two steps. The first step is to associate one or more security rules with your app that you want to share. And the second step is to assign the security rules to users. And you have to ensure that you have a security rule with equal or greater permissions than the rule you are assigning to the app and to other users. Now we will go for a demo for sharing model-driven apps. In this demo we will learn how to share model-driven app by associating one or more security rules to the app and assign one or more security rules to the users. Let's begin our demo. To share a model-driven app from the Make Power Apps site, in the left navigation apps, select your model-driven app. This share model-driven app. From the more command, click share. As we said, there is two steps to share a model-driven app. One for assigning the security rules for the app and assigning the security rules for the users. The first step, assigning a security rules to the app. Select your app, and from here, you can choose one or more of these security rules, or create new rules by press manage security rules. I created one before, sharing app rule, and the second step is to assign one or more security rules to the users. Select the user, for example, here, and select the rules that you can assign to the user. I will assign share a rule and after you finish click share. Sharing model driven app was successful. You will do this if you have the predefined security rules and you can assign them. If you want to create new security rule while sharing your app, choose your app from manage security rules. This is all yours in your organization. You can create new one Choose a rule name and in the custom entities or custom tables, choose the tables that you create this security rule for. I will create for project, press for to be organization, and assign the privilege for this rule. For create, read, write, delete, append, append to, assign, share. The customization tab, you will choose model driven, model driven app, I will create read write this mean for the organization level save and close it's created your rule but first you have to know if users granted read and create and write to the model driven app privilege that we just created the user will have access to all apps in the environment even when they are not part of any rule that has access to this app back to our model driven app I will share again to refresh, choose the app, and you will see the test access rules that we just created. You can assign this, as we said, you can assign one or more security rule to this. And if you assign the test access for this user, the user will have the access to all apps in the environment. Even if the user not part of any rules that has access to this app. But once you assign the test access that we just created with privilege model driven app create and write and read, he will have access to all apps. So be aware of this point. After assigning the rules that you want, click share. This is sharing a model driven apps. We finished our lesson. In this lesson, we have learned the steps for sharing a model-driven app that are assigning security rules to the model-driven app 
and assigning security rules to the users. And we have learned how to create security rules from the sharing process. And you'll find a separate lesson for discussing the security rule in the administration module in module 7.